y'all, it's nice. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am just doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not really going anywhere. It's just really nice outside and I want to take a picture. So I'm going to do a really minimal, quick look while I basically just rant. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so... I have had an eventful day. I woke up to an email this morning from Instagram saying that I had requested for my password to be changed or something like that. And I did not. So I went to go check and I could not get into my Instagram. And then, no, no, no. They emailed me saying that I had, um, that there was a login from an unusual location. I usually that I don't log in from or something like that and I went to go check and I kept getting the error message and then the message that would pop up when I tried to log on would say you have requested to delete this account so needless to say, I never requested for my YouTube channel to be deleted and I freaked out immediately and I tweeted Instagram and DM'd and all this stuff and I looked up videos on what to do if your account has been hacked. So I did all that, did the steps and nothing like nothing worked so i didn't get my page back so i ended up creating a new page and that's just like it's so discouraging because that page took me five years to build and to some people that might not it might not be like a big deal or anything but to me it was important because that was something that I worked on. I put my freaking, I put all of my effort and energy into it for the past five years. And maybe three months ago, I finally hit 10K on Instagram. Like, I was killing it. So in December, I finally hit 10K. And it's been growing until this morning when someone deleted it so there's that so yeah bottom line is my instagram was hacked and deleted and i literally i'm not gonna lie i cried i was upset like i felt defeated i felt i was angry like I was beyond angry. I was angry. I was hurt. I felt betrayed. Even though I don't know who did it, I still felt betrayed. Like, I felt like all that work and all that effort and Instagram is saturated. So yeah, Instagram is very saturated. So when I hit 10K, I was excited. Shoot, when I hit 2K, I was excited. When I hit three four five like i was just i was super super excited like brands started to notice me and like started giving me my props like i worked i worked hard and it was just it was all taken away just like that So yeah, and I know that some people say that, you know, it's just social media. It doesn't mean anything. It's not that big of a deal, but it really is like that was someone just took my potential to, and it's not about money because I stuck with it for five years. I don't care what nobody says. I deserved it. Like, if it took me five years to get to 10K, 
and now I'm starting from scratch. You can see where I'm pretty much done and discouraged. So I just, I can't think about it because it just makes me so mad. Like, why would that happen to me? I didn't do anything. I literally post makeup videos and mind my business. I didn't deserve that. The chances of recovering my channel are slim to none. Like, it's, it's not looking promising. So, I've already come to terms with that and I've already, like, I've already established that I'll just have to start over from scratch because it's gone. Like, there's, there's nothing more that I can do. Uh, I'm just going to take this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in my tie. I'm just going to put that on the... lid <sighs> but life's not fair I'm gonna there's nothing I can do about it I'm literally gonna have to just start over from scratch which follow me on Instagram help me rebuild oh I used uh, the Lorac palette in Caviar, the shade Caviar on the outside. Okay, I'm done with my eyes. Let me go ahead and pick a foundation. I think we will go with... Okay, so with foundation, we are just going to go with the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 375 Java. Like, I just, I can't believe this happened to me. I just, I mean, nothing has ever, and I mean nothing, nothing in my whole entire life has ever come easy for me. Like, I've always had to work 10 times harder than everyone else, even if I'm literally 10 times better. Not saying that I'm yeah you know what I am there's always somebody better than you like there's people better than me and there's people that I'm better than at you know what I do but for some reason I've always had to work 10 times harder I don't know why even people who are like literally like they just throw anything together. They just do whatever and succeed. Which props to you if you're one of those people that like you don't have to work super hard for stuff. Like everything just comes easily, easily naturally to you. Props to you because I don't have that skill set. I literally have to work 20 times hard to get what I want. So, for that to just be taken, oh, it hurts. Oh, my gosh. Like, I was so upset. But then just imagine if YouTube was my mainstream, not YouTube. Just imagine, though, if that was, like, my main source of income. Well, I'm sure if it was my main source of income and I had, like, a manager or something, they would, like, work diligently to get that solved for me but I don't it's just me so I have to literally just start over because I'm just a regular person on but I'm not even mad at it it's it's a challenge I'll rise to the occasion I'm really loving how this look is turning out too, by the way. Yeah, I'm the motherfucking greatest, but I don't know that shit. And I don't need your money, you can hold that check. Couple of my niggas that mind this little glow right here. The sun is directly coming in through this window. So that is why. Okay, y'all. Well, the point of this video was really just discouragement for or not discouragement encouragement for myself and anyone else who just 
has been in a position where they had to start all the way from square one and i'm not talking about just instagram or social media or anything i'm talking about just anything in general and life like i have to do now if you've ever had to start over from square one you have two options you can either quit and give up or you can suck it up and pass the test because i think that's initially what it is it's a test to see if you can pass to see how bad you want it to see if you're all in it's not fair it sucks i know but that's life like life's not fair bad things happen to good people and vice versa so yeah in regards to my page i'm literally just gonna start over i said it a million times but there's nothing else that i can do so i'm literally just gonna start over and hope for the best i know it's gonna be tough and i'm gonna get discouraged along the way because i mean come on that's five years of work down the drain now i have to basically start from scratch and obviously i'm not doing it for the money i'm doing it because i i think i'm good at makeup i think i'm pretty darn good at it who gonna check me boo i'm good at it and i just feel like there's such a lacking in the beauty community so i feel like I should be there like I feel like that's exactly where I should be not just with beauty but just having someone there that maybe you never maybe never thought they would be there is encouragement in itself so yeah that's exactly why I feel like I have a place at the table you know I've been sent back to the kitty table but I'll be back I'm coming back it's a chance to do better so yeah that's just with anything in life if you're someone that feels like you always have to you get the short end of the stick you always have to work 10 times harder than everyone else keep trying keep grinding keep putting your best foot forward just keep at it keep the faith and it will happen it hasn't happened for me yet it did happen for me it was starting to happen for me and then it was taken so just keep the faith and it will happen. I truly, truly believe that what is for you will always find you. So if it's for me, it will find me. If it's not for me, then I have fun in the process. So it can't be that bad. But there are people who literally stress and obsess about social media. And that's that's not healthy first of all and that's when i had to stop and check myself i was sad i was upset i was crying i was devastated but you know i picked myself up it's gonna be all right we can for anyone who just feels like they're an underdog in anything they do it could be at school it could be on instagram it could be on youtube just like anything if you feel like you're an underdog it's gonna be fine like if you keep putting your best foot forward and it's meant for you what is meant for you will always find you and if you're thinking well how do i know if it's meant for you i truly truly believe god will never put anything anything on your heart that is not meant for you so if he puts something on your heart and makes you want it that bad then there is a way for you to get it so the fact that i was able to you know grind and work hard for five years and finally hit 10k i felt like yeah misfortune struck again and i lost all of that but i feel like i can do that again because it was meant for me you know i wouldn't want it that bad if it wasn't meant for me see what i'm saying if it's yours it's yours and nobody can take that from you so that's a little message to myself as well remember that myself 
remember that. If it's for you, it's for you. Nobody's gonna take it. It's just waiting for you to work hard to get there. And I know some things come easier to some people and some things don't come as easy to others but there's nothing we can really do about that. Some people are just, things just come easier. So yeah, um, that is it for this video. It was supposed to be a chit chat, get ready with me, but I'm just so discombobulated that I cannot do my makeup and talk at the same time. So instead I just ranted about my channel or my page being, <laughs> deleted, hacked and deleted, and me having to start over, follow my new page. Yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can take something away from it. Don't be discouraged in whatever you are doing. Keep grinding, keep doing your thing, and what's for you will be for you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all. So where day I go hard, I do it for my dog, double M, like I'm signed to the Maybach, it's the militia. Chasing after them digits, I'm tripping, my mind gone is missing. Time moving slow, moving slow, like I'm serving the sentence. I'm high, so my time zone is different. Lay back when the blunt blade. But I say that talk for another day. Told them I needed a key to them chains.